Welcome back to our war room in our crusade against internet bloat. The other week I did this little video talking about how insufferable it is to look up a recipe online nowadays because every single, this is the video by the way, every single uh, recipe site it's not just text and images, it's not simple directions, it is megabytes on megabytes on megabytes of ads and trackers and junk and JavaScript and a bunch of stuff that no one wants, okay, when you're looking for a recipe. For someone like me who has to open up multiple tabs to see multiple recipes on a slow internet, it, it's ridiculous. We live, like in the modern age, Computers should be running faster than ever on lower resources than ever. That should be how technology works. That should be how software is, but it ain't, okay? Now, I want to tell you a very sad tale in today's War Room episode. Um, someone, now multiple people after I did this video, because at the end of this video I said something. I, I issued a kind of a challenge, not, not a real challenge, but I said, wouldn't it be nice if some internet entrepreneurs, potentially you, um, started just a simple... HTML uh, a website for having recipes and stuff. That would be the best thing. And in fact, a couple of you guys actually emailed me. Hey, look, I'm working on this and that's great. If you're doing that, that's fantastic. A couple of you guys emailed me that about that. Uh, but I got another very depressing email and I wanna read you guys what this is. I didn't print it out this time. Uh, I, well, I just put it in a file so you don't see the guy's name because maybe he wants to be anonymous, but he says, Hey, maybe you've already come across this story, but it looks like someone tried to solve the problems you were talking about with recipe websites, but they took down their site after backlash. We got to open this up and see what it says. It's a BBC article and he says the bloat prevails. Okay. So here's what this is about. And this made the BBC. Okay. I, I don't know what the deal with that is. But uh, let's see, where's the link? Okay, I'll open this little Twitter thing. Shoot. Uh, I meant to, oh, maybe the, yeah, I guess the BBC site uh, sucks too. Uh, I would say we need to make our own news site, but honestly, there's no reason that a news site even needs to exist. Um, so what this article says is basically there's this guy who posted on Twitter, hey, I'm going to make a recipe site without trash. Like you can see the recipes you want. Well, we'll just read it. Some personal news. Two friends and I uh, created a new thing to fix online recipes, Recipeasly, your favorite recipes, except for without the ads or life stories. Feedback and retweets, appreciated. Yeah, life stories, I didn't even talk about that, but like a lot of times you'll see, you'll read a recipe, you'll you'll look up a recipe of something and it'll be like some lady talking about how it reminds her of her cooking with her mom or something like that. And it's just like, I'm sorry, I'm not, can you get to the recipe? Anyway, um, now I put up this video, what, on the 23rd? This guy does this on the 28th. I don't know if he ha it has any connection. I don't know if he or some of his friends uh, watch my channel. Either way, this might sound like it's moving in a, a helpful direction, but it ain't. Because what happened is a bunch of people bullied him. People meaning food bloggers. Here are some food bloggers, okay? Uh, people like this bullied him on Twitter because he is undercutting their scheme, right? They have a bunch of blogs where they put up, you know, lots of ads and trackers. They don't, they don't care about web bloat. They're all, you know, working on the suburban internet connections. And so every page takes like 10 megs to load and you're expected to read the whole thing. None of it is like informational. It's just like a blog, first off. And none of these people, I should say, before I even go any further, like these people who they talk about, the, like this lady talking about her grandma, talking about how cooking reminds her of her grandma or something like that. Uh, has nothing to do with the sites we were talking about. The sites we were talking about are, are things that are supposed to be informational recipe sites, and they're not, okay? But either way, um, this guy, in, like whenever you're in an entrepreneurial state, whenever you're doing something, something for the world, whenever you're like making things more efficient, you know, starting a business, something like that, um, you are by definition in, in doing so, most people good, you are going to be undercutting other people. The, and the people you are undercutting are the people who put up a bunch of bloated sites with a bunch of ads that they don't actually need. Uh, and it, it's insufferable for the actual users, the actual consumers out there. Okay, so this guy, in, in starting a website like that, that's the right thing to do. But then what he did is he just, uh, people bullied him and said, no, you can't stay, take my ad revenue. I worked hard for that. And he, he chickened out, he cucked out on this and he deleted the site, okay? Which is so, I, I can't even, 
This, this is like if, if uh, you know, uh, I don't know, what's an example? If Henry Ford, when he made his first car, you know, the, the horse and buggy industry sent in a bunch of sob stories about how horses remind them of their grandparents and they're going to miss, like, have a ho having a horse and buggy business because cars are going to put them out of business. It's exactly the same thing if Henry Ford was like, oh, I guess I'm just not going to make cars anymore because I'm not going to, like, offend people. So we took down, this guy took down the site, okay, and I'm not, I'm not going to talk about the fact that he might have sort of soy dev physiognomy, I'm not going to comment on that, um, but he took down the site, but I, actually, let's, let's look at the source to the site, because it might be a simple white page, but it isn't on the back end. Look at all this. Let, let me tell you, this is how I know you're not going to make it. .js, look at all that. None of that is necessary. There is no reason that an informational site needs JavaScript at all. Now, of course, this site actually tried to do a bunch of other stuff. Oh, you have like user accounts and crap like that. But that that is not what I'm interested in. I, so if he's trying to follow what I did, I don't, again, I don't know if he is. That's not what I want. I don't want user accounts and comments and stuff like that. I would like an informational site. Now, let me give you, um, I already gave you guys this idea of please make a decent recipe site. And again, some of you guys have already followed that advice and are starting to make stuff. But let me give you an even better idea, an even better internet entrepreneur idea. Uh, it should be open source. Duh, recipes are like the best thing for open source because l let's say you have your website's code, uh, all of its HTML, all its pages, uh, or maybe in a static site generator if you prefer that, so long as it's not too, you know, you bloat it or whatever. Um, but let's say you have it on GitLab or GitHub or some other Git server. Well, you can, if, if someone has a recipe they like, they can easily just open up a pull request. Wow, free content. People will be willing to do that stuff in the same way they're willing to contribute code to any other kind of project. So that is a perfect, like instead of having a website running a bunch of JavaScript garbage, why don't you just have your Git server be the social aspect where people can add stuff in themselves and you can you can all create a nice static site with just HTML and a little bit of CSS just a, even even some responsive CSS you know a lot of zoomers a lot of pajits they just use their phones and you got to have a little bit of a responsive CSS but that is all you need you don't need any ads you don't need any trackers you don't need any javascript you don't need any cookies you don't need any of that stuff that's all I want. It would be easy to do. People would sign themselves up to contribute pull requests. I guarantee you that is go that would happen, okay? So that's my second audit. I, I might keep giving these entrepreneurial tips until I just eventually get you know fed up with it and do it myself. But this this is what you're under. Is, it, is this grilled cheese? I don't even know. Um, anyway, like, uh, and I will say, oh, she might lose money from her blog. Let me just, let me just say, like, it does not take, in case any of you guys who just browse the internet don't know this, it does not take any reasonably large amount of money to have a website. It is very cheap. It costs pennies on the day, okay? Especially if you if you have a site the size of, you know, this lady's site. or I, Unless she's a famous person who gets millions of hits all the time, you do not need to spend more than a couple bucks, bucks a month to keep your website up. That's just the fact of life. Uh, it's pocket change. You do not need ads. There's no need for a, a person to have ads. Um, if you put them on there, it's because you're trying to make money. That's it. If, so anyone talking about, oh, I'm gonna like, I, I'm gonna be poor if I don't have have ads. They are just totally. Uh, why is this here? They're they're totally like just trying to get a sob story to like you know pull at your heartstrings. Don't trust them whatsoever. Okay. So anyway, that. This whole thing is just upsetting, I, I have to say. Um, yes, I am fed up seeing ads on food. Um, the whole thing is just upsetting because the resources to have... I'm, oh, I'm cringing right now. Um... Yeah, this just motivates me further. Um, uh, just do it, okay? Just do it. Like, 
There's no reason we should have to put up with any of this. We have the computing power. We have people who can write the recipes. We have people who are willing to write the recipes. And guess what? You don't need a bunch of ads to put your recipes online because people write entire operating systems because uh, they want to, because they're schizophrenic and God told them to, okay? So you don't need, you don't need this like stupid economic incentive. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Whatever. See you guys next time.